TAPCO's V-Lock Anchoring System is a federally approved NCHRP 350 breakaway system that securely and safely anchors signposts and mailboxes and is fully compliant with FHWA clear zone mandates. V-Lock breakaway anchors are the safest anchoring systems on the market. They mount flush to the ground, making clear zones safer for runoff road vehicles. V-Lock breakaway anchors are reusable after knockdowns. Simply place a new post into the existing socket and then drive the patented locking wedge to secure it. Post replacements take just minutes, saving you time and money while reducing your risk and exposure to the potential dangers of traffic. The V-Lock Anchor's unique stabilizer fins provide greater resistance to movement, thereby making V-Lock installations solid and stable. For all V-Lock installations, you must always heed the following safety precautions. Call 811 at least three days prior to installation, so all nearby utility lines are located and marked. Follow FHWA standards as well as state and local work zone guidelines to determine if lane control measures should be used to protect personnel. Use OSHA approved safety gear including gloves, protective eyewear, and steel-toed shoes. Orientation of V-Lock Anchor Types For round posts, orient the rounded nose of the V-Lock parallel to the road away from oncoming traffic. For U-channel posts, orient the rounded nose of the V-Lock parallel to the road toward oncoming traffic. For square posts, orient the rounded nose of the V-Lock toward oncoming traffic, but rotated 45 degrees away from the road. In this configuration, the faces of the thick leg angle will be perpendicular to and parallel to the edge of the road. On curves or other non-linear road segments, rotate the V-Lock square post model before driving so one of the leg angle surfaces is perpendicular to approaching traffic. That way the installed sign will face more directly toward oncoming traffic. Location of V-Lock Anchors Check federal, state, and local regulations regarding appropriate placement of posts relative to roadways, walkways, and curbs. FHWA sign placement regulations can be found in Chapter 2 of the Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices. Plumbing your V-Lock to ensure vertical installations. To make sure your post or support will be vertical, it is imperative that you use a level to plumb each face of the thick 90 degree leg angle several times during the installation. Note that the socket portion is tapered, so it will not give you a true measure of plumb. Once the V-lock is set, it cannot be re-plumbed, so it is extremely important to use your level as directed to ensure vertical installations. If you are performing a number of installations, we recommend you weld a spare wedge a few inches from the end of a stub of your type and size of post. Then you can insert the stub and wedge into the socket and hold your level to the stub to plumb the V-lock in both directions. If you have any questions or you'd like more information on V-lock anchoring systems or other traffic control devices, please check out TAPCO's website at www.tapconet.com or contact us toll free at 800-236-0112. We look forward to helping you take the fast lane to your traffic safety solutions.